Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a look at the Grand Blue Fantasy Relink demo. Um, the full game is available on Steam, uh, but the demo isn't. So I've taken our PS4 upstairs to my recording area now. Um, I've never tried to record off the PS4 before, so this should be okay. Um, I had to go and turn off HDCP to make it show up at all, so I think it should be fine. Uh, and it should play the whole game without any problem. If you try to open something like you're not supposed to be able to play, like, um... We had a DVD in there earlier because we mostly use our PS4 as a DVD player, and I tried to open it and it said go turn HDCP back on. So yeah, like the fact that I can open this at all probably means it'll work fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, the full game is also on Steam, so I will probably pick up that version if I do end up picking it up. Uh, but for now we're doing something new, we're recording off the PS4. <laughs> um, obviously I don't use it very much, you can see there's a bunch of stuff here that is random apps and shit. Um, but yeah, uh, let's check out Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Uh, it released four days ago now? It's the 4th of February now. So, yeah, it's been out for a couple of days. Um, yeah, this is another Grand Blue game that you buy, like, um, like Versus, rather than one that you play on mobile and pay microtransactions in. <laughs> I assume it's microtransactions, I haven't even played the mobile one. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love, uh, Fantasy Versus. Um, like, I, w I was playing the free edition when I did a video on it earlier, but I have since bought it and put a whole lot of time into it, and I really love it. Um, it's just a really, it's just, um, it's just, and it's got such a fun cast of characters, and I believe most of them are playable in this too. Uh, I don't really know what kind of game this is, apart from it looks like it's a 3D sort of action thing where you're playing as the same characters, but beyond that, I don't really know, so let's dive in and have a look. Um, yeah. You can see, um, both Gran and Jeter are in it, uh, which is good. Uh, I don't know if you pick one and the other one just isn't in it, or if it's like a crossover situation where they're both in, like, like Rising, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> Bye games. I have no clue what to expect. I haven't launched it before. I mean, I, I did launch it to see if it would launch at all, but I did closed it before it got this far. <laughs> um, skip through this, or I just have to wait? Okay, there's a little loading icon under my face, that's probably fine. Um, I'm just gonna leave it all in English. Uh, I assume I can change the voice to, like, Japanese, yeah. Um, but I do really like the English voice actors for Grand Blue. Um, I I've heard a couple of clips and it sounds like they're the same ones that they have in Versus, so I, I like them. <laughs> um, uh, adjust the brightness. I'm just gonna leave it on the default since I've got all this recording stuff set up, I don't want to complicate things. Uh, I mean, I'm using headphones, I guess speakers is probably the right pick. Because that's the default and I don't want to do anything weird. Auto save, cool. I assume that's Lyria in the, in the logo there. It doesn't have that much hair though, so maybe it's not? <laughs> Uh, sure, I agree with the terms of service. Privacy policy. Feels like a lot of weird stuff to ask me for, for like, a free demo. Um, are there any game options I need to mess with? I will turn on colorblind support. Oh, oh I see. If, uh, if it had been like, provide information without colors or stuff, like symbols and stuff, I would turn that on. But if it's like, specific filters to the kind of colorblindness that I don't have, it doesn't make sense to turn it on. Um, okay, let's start. Uh, right, yeah, I heard this is how this works. Um, like a lot of demos will give you like, of an RPG sort of game, will give you like the first chapter or so, and it's sort of like a taste of what's going to happen next, and then you carry your save data over. This game doesn't seem to do that in the demo, it's got like separate uh, sections that give you like a bit of an experience of different parts of it. Uh, which is probably better? <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're just going to jump into the tutorial first, yes please, and see what we can see. What we see. Okay, so we have press L2. Okay, so we've got, um, that's promising because that's more or less how lock-on works in Dark Souls. <laughs> um, you can really control the camera with, uh, Careful. okay, yep. Uh, I can jump, 
back in gas. That feels good. Oh, health bars, hello. X to attack, sorry, for to press square to attack him by foes. <laughs> While playing as the character, mix in triangle attacks for various combos. Press triangle initial character's unique attacks. Oh, okay. Funny. You got this. Be careful now. Look at Oh yeah, sorry from it like a, a bit of a weird angle. Um when I'm like recording Switch games, what I would normally do is put my screen over here with Elgato or my laptop screen. Uh and then I would put like OBS over here on the second screen. But I'm looking over here because I'm using pass through just in case like it uh, I'm using the um Elgato's HDMI pass through just in case um HACP interferes with the recording. I don't think it'll be a problem. Okay, so I can Okay, so I have a block button. Hmm. Just like that. Uh, this should do it. Hmm. There's a little more mashy than I'd like, but we'll see. We'll see. When they're attacking a bit more, it might be more technical than I'm realizing. Dodge button. Ooh. I'm not sure if timing my dodges is better than just holding the button, but I'm guessing it probably is. Knowing how these games sort of work. Oh, you're in the process of direction, you have the dodge button by itself. Okay. It's not It's not like a Soulsborne roll where you have to direct yourself. Hold R1 and press the button, actually, it's skill. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's, it's skills with a cooldown like this is, is in versus. I, I wonder if that's just a standard Grambler thing and it's in the mobile game too. Interesting. Don't hold back! Because that's a thing Gram does in mobile as well. Not mobile, the other thing. The thing I play. <laughs> versus. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you hold that and switch your buttons to skills. Okay. The controls aren't exactly like a soul spawn, but. Ooh, a stun gauge? Okay. Circle Junior. Oh, okay. Fine, fine. Looking good. How's this? Catch this! End it! This should do it! Oh, neat. Okay. Uh, oh, Skybound Arts are a thing, too. Okay. I assume I fill it up by attacking? Looking good. We fight us! Here goes! On me! Tempest Flame! Ha! Okay. You guys rock! You worked up a sweat! Okay, so it's feeling a little bit like the Versus game? <clears throat> um, despite being, you know, a, a 3D action-y game instead, which is, which is good. I, I, I like it feeling like Versus because I like Versus. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go into an actual, uh, like, regular gameplay mode. Oh. Oh, interesting. Look at that. Uh, assist mode can either give you, like, free combos by, by mashing square. Um, which, yeah, that, that would help if you don't want to try to work out your combos yourself. And there's full assist mode, which auto attacks. Interesting. I'm going to turn all those off, but it's cool that those are options. Like, if you wanted to play the story and just sort of have your character walk around in battles and handle it. Assuming the story is good. Um, which I think it might be. I don't know what the story's going to be like, but I know the characters, so I feel like it's probably pretty cool. Uh, I guess Ayo is probably playable in this one. Uh, she's, like, in the story mode in Rising, but she's not playable. Uh, no, Maya's playable. Is that, uh... uh... Lancelot, you're playable. 
I know I, the reason I like I really want to check this out is I know Cagliostro is playable. I don't know if she's going to be in the demo, but if she is, I, that would be. Good. <laughs> cool glasses, you look good. I don't know who you are. I haven't seen you in Ryzen, but you, you look good. <laughs> Maybe like a, a new uh, a helmsman or whatever. Is that what they call people who use the wheel, the helms? I think that's right. Ugh, what a ride. Okay, I'm not seeing Jita, so I'm guessing this is just Grand's version of everyone. It's okay, sweetie. There should be more people here. Oh, cute ponytail. Ah, Roland. Caring man. Imagine that being the name. <laughs> I see. The abnormal winds agitated the goblins, who in turn attacked the islanders. We managed to escape, but the it's other very similar to the story mode in Rising. I'm guessing all the grand can work like this. Try not to worry too much. Just leave everything to Mister Fix It. Thank you. I'll go spread uh. the word. Being said, I can't just leave these people here unprotected. What should I do? He needs our aid, Captain. Did somebody call for? Oh, they say Captain instead of Ground. I'm guessing you can just play as Jeter in that case. Uh, I assume they mean the same thing. The goblins. Are you sure? Because, yeah, um, Gran and Jita sort of fill the same role in Grand Blue, Grand Reverse, Grand, Grand Blue Fantasy on mobile. Uh, and you just pick which one you're playing as. And I believe everyone calls you Captain, because you're, like, the captain of the Grand Cypher rather than Gran or Jita. So you have to record across the line. Could you give them assistance? Yep, you got it! Interesting that the text says Gran instead of just Captain, because Catalina definitely said Captain. We can communicate with each other using this device. Your phone. We can talk on this thing. Looks like a flower glued to a box. It's a type of transceiver. It'll allow us to talk over long um, distances. Like I said, Roland, I haven't met before, but everyone else sounds exactly like they do in verses. Are you sure you want to give us one? I'm, I'm happy with the with their voice acting. So far. Yeah, don't worry. I didn't pay for it. Since I put it together myself. Fucking oh, check this out. It even has a nifty light attachment. Why don't you turn it on, Vern, when you want to grab everyone's attention? Oh, that's the hey listen. <laughs> you got skills, fix it, dude. It's rolling. <laughs> Who'd have thought you could make sweet gizmos like this? Well, can you wear glasses? <laughs> we'll definitely make good use of it. Follow that road, and it'll take you to Tempeel. Please help anyone you see. I'm counting on you. Okay, so now we're in like the outside of battle mode you can see a lot of stuff on screen all of a sudden uh it looks like catalina rackham and io are all going to be playable uh, i was expecting catalina uh because she is playable in in the other game um i think having my face where it is right now is probably fine there's a bit more of the heart underneath there but it's not super important that you see it i think um oh i can pick up stuff yes i sure can Okay, that's good. Okay, so this is... More, more RPG than I was kind of expecting, I guess. Uh, also, I can press L2 to Nivern Gate. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> oh yeah, it just points to my waypoint. Cool. Oh, this looks really, really nice. Uh... Oh no. Just a moment. What's up, caring man? This here is hallowed ground. A special aura keeps the monsters at bay. Oh, it's a bonfire. If you need to rest, find this crystal. You can even stock up on supplies and fix up your weapons. Oh, it's a bonfire. <laughs> I wonder why they're saying the captain and then saying his, like. 
The captain could be Jita, right? Maybe maybe it just changes depending on which captain you're playing as. Oh, a command list? <gasps> oh, hello. Okay, so this is reminding me, the way this looks is feeling sort of like, um, I played a little Bayonetta, and it looks a bit like that. Uh, I didn't really get into Bayonetta, uh, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, Hello Ground, yeah, it heals you, it replenishes your stuff, good stuff. Hey, Burn. <laughs> Oh, and the paws. The way this looks reminds me of Xenoblade Chronicles more than anything else. <laughs> yeah, I've got a cobblestone. It's pretty great. I I'm guessing I can switch party members maybe later. Not right now. I'm stuck as this guy. Uh -oh. Look. oh no. I need help. All oh, right, the goblins. Oh wait, you, you speak our language? You're, you're your people? Are we allowed to just kill you? It's your people? When you defeat an enemy, it doesn't lock onto the next one, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, I would make it so it does. Um... <laughs> This is definitely feeling matchier than I was hoping for, but perhaps when I get to like bosses and stuff, it won't be. Oh, that's neat. You do a jump fire. Bump. <laughs> I'm guessing the audio mixing would sound better if I had both of my ears covered. Um, I have my, I don't have my left side of the headphones on because I want to be able to like hear my voice properly. Thinking of getting some like headphones without the noise cancelling, um, and just like bone conducting ones or something that don't um that don't like cover my ears. Um. For this purpose, but these are these are quite nice for now. I keep on trying to press F, uh, L2 in order to dash, even though that is not the dash button. There, that's the last of them. Now to set the captured people free. Uh, they can stay there for now. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, rescue. <laughs> Everyone, get on board. We've been safe. Imagine your name being Terrified Woman. Oh god. I'm on it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just glad everyone's safe and sound. What would we have done without your crew? Skyfarers or something else. Thank you so much, everyone. But more settlements could be under attack. Better keep going. We gotta check on those people. You're getting myself out of line with the camera, but the come on, to act just violently. Silly. That's a big problem, it's true. Goblins don't usually go berserk like average monsters. Yeah, I wouldn't expect them to, given they seem to be people with, like, the ability to speak English or Japanese or whatever it is they're speaking. <laughs> Are they technically speaking Japanese if I have it said to me? Let's see. Probably, right? Nice find. Okay, you can get treasure chests, make coins and stuff. I am curious how open this game is going to be. Like, from what I'm seeing here, it might be like sort of a level based structure where you can run around a bit in each level, which is how Bayonetta works. Um, but if it's like more of an open world and there's a bit of exploring involved, that would be absolutely delightful. So. Uh, if that's how it works, I would be happy. <laughs> but I don't know if that's how it works. Uh, let's head over. Looks like I can use my D-pad to, um, use items and stuff. Are we, like, healing? The bridges are in pieces. We'll have to get our feet wet. Mind where you step, everyone. I'm moving as close as I can. Keep those goblins occupied. We will. 
slow rolling. You just focus on flying. Yes, but never just mind. You're right. I'll put the truck to you, Skyfarer. Oh, great. They know how to shoot bows. They'll need time to reload. Okay, I need to speed up the camera. Can I, can I change that? Game option. Uh, gameplay? Is camera setting in? Oh, huh, look. Auto target switching is on, but it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, I can swap those. Camera sensitivity, yeah, turn that up a little bit. That's when we charge. That's actually apply, I'm not sure. <laughs> It did. Okay, cool. Wasn't sure if it had saved my chain. Uh, you can change all sorts of stuff. Well, it's nice. Okay. Hello. Oh. Oh, hello. Let's do this. Catch. Direct hit. <laughs> Okay. We've cleared the area. I'm Should not sure how what my art power. level four means exactly. I think it means I use stronger versions of my skills, but I don't know what makes hey, it go up. Nice <laughs> okay, we've rescued some more people. Everyone, get on the ground, Slapper. You're, you're party members now. Thank goodness everyone's okay. Quickly, get on board. Don't worry, you're in good hands now. Wait, right, that is here. I wonder when this game takes place in the story. Because Rosetta is supposed to be have, like ascended to being the Rose Queen or something like that. In the story of in the story of Versus, she like stuck in place doing that basically, rather than hanging out on the ships. Hmm. Interesting. Oh no, the windmills! I hate it when the windmills come under attack. Let me just go hit this up for a little bit. Oh, people are casting buffs and stuff? I would like to switch characters, but I don't think I can. Okay, off to the windmill. <laughs> Been no saving escape. this one. Get him! You're done. Did the damn thing, didn't you? What are you doing? We're going over here. They've even learned how to tame wolves. Go, we're going to the windmill. They usually steer way clear of towns. With more. I'll be there soon. <laughs> Hold out as fast as you can. Huh? Roger, Dodger. We'll lock it down. <laughs> Looks like the goblins have hostages. We're on it. Good fun. Please, do your best to defend oh, it. Oops, I found a button. <laughs> oh, great. Looks like some of them can use magic, too. Don't get Just sloppy like now. Hell yes. Send those puppies scampering. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Okay, um... Link time is triggered when Link level is at 100% condition. Link enemy movement is slowed and get... Okay. I guess that's good. Oh, Please, is this a boss? Tough, huh? pretty tough. So who's got the bigger guns? Them or you? Huh? Check this out. I mean, it's me, right? Huh? 
I'm pressing circle to try to do like a dodge roll because that is the button in Dark Souls, but it's not that button in Dark Souls, it's just this one. <laughs> uh. okay. Yeah, this combat's feeling like a bit easier and a bit mashier than something like, like Dark Souls, obviously. Um, but it's not bad. Um, I am enjoying it. Um, Somebody I do want to be able to try other characters. I don't know if it'll let me do that in the demo. Uh, but we'll see how we go. You're safe now. Hurry to the ship. Thank goodness. Oh, gentle old man, my beloved. <laughs> I'm alive. Listless woman. It's a weird name. You're going to be fine. <laughs> Can you walk, miss? Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, Skyfire fan? Good for you! Those poor folk are Maybe you'll get to go on fans versus favorites. Great job, everyone. <laughs> All the day's work. Now, okay, I'm walking really slow now. I think that means it's the end of the, end of the story cutscene or whatever. Huh? What I had a feeling that would happen. Heavens help us. There are others who haven't made it out yet. Sort of, oh, is this, is, is this the big boss? Let's go. I pray we're not too late. We made it, Roland. About to start fumigating the place. Buddy, seriously? I'm at least five years older than you. You don't want to believe how old I am. Which would make you My lips are sealed. Wait, is Roland like extremely old? Are you like, are you on blockers or something? What's going on with you? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. down when I activate a cutscene. <laughs> it just goes... <laughs> I really do want to fight a proper boss where I can like block and stuff. Like these guys are expecting me to block, but it's not really needed. Oh, it's link time. Just like that, Reagan leg. Reagan leg. Neat. That's pretty easy, honestly. I just hope the islanders are safe and sound. I'm getting the impression Lyria isn't much of a fighter. Um, she's not playable in Versus, and in this game she's a guest rather than one of the characters in Health Bars. 
Uh, that's fine. That's fine. There's plenty of other characters who can buy it. Like Jeter, for example. Are you here to save us? No. <laughs> I'm here to kidnap. <laughs> Just who are you guys? Oh, you're impatient, man. Bearers, and we're here to rescue you. The non receive determinism of this universe is quite a thing. <laughs> Wait, was that wrong? They do this in the story in um Rising as well, but there's a lot more focus on named characters, so you don't see a lot of these really funny NPC names <laughs> compared to this game, which has lots of them. <laughs> that lies deep in the nearby ruins. Oh, a goblin fortress. Our friends are still in there. And they can't make it out on their own. Oh, we'll, we'll help you, you fox What's boy. Is that a fox? I, there are lots of animal people in, in this setting. Uh, love them. Let's get those people out of there. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Why are they Come putting Grand's name you? in the text if it's not here. actually going to be in the text? <laughs> Oh, sorry, it's not actually in the line, in the dialogue. Just don't say his name. Say Captain. <laughs> Got it. I know this isn't what you signed up for, but... Um, actually, Genshin Impact does the same thing, because you can pick from, like, two different protagonists for that game as well. Uh, again, it's like the boy one and the girl one, and they both have, you know, established names, but the characters don't use them. <laughs> um, because, of course, of course they don't. <laughs> ah. Hmm. It's definitely feeling more like a sort of linear stages with a bit of exploration in them thing than like an open world sort of RPG, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and I'm enjoying the combat more than I thought I would. Can I offer you a nice knickknack in these trying times? Hi, Sirocart. Oh, okay. So I can't use the. Okay. So. The hallowed ground lets me shop, at least it would, except in the demo, so I can't. But I could talk to Sierra Kart and I could, like, repair my weapons and stuff, I guess. I don't know if this game has a complicated durability system or what to expect Hurry. with the weapon repair, but I guess we'll see. Hey. What I find? A world shroom. I mean, like, a shroom. Like a um, yeah, kinda. This place is crawling with goblins. It doesn't seem like they want to scuffle. No. They're crawling? They're doing a little dance. Get out while you still can. Oh no, it's a lure so that we get kidnapped and we have to fight a boss. That doesn't sound good. Boss, 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 boss. Oh, nice book. Pose. <laughs> Why? You... Show me the rest of the boss. Oh, yeah. Hello. I don't know how big you are because we're so close up. Oh yeah, you're pretty big. Okay, this is feeling like a proper boss fight. Here we go. Means business with that shield. That goblin charge is like a wild boar. I reckon we can outmaneuver it. Ow. I'm not sure if my dodge gives me any eye frame. I hope it does. This is feeling very soul porn, which is nice. Not as difficult, but it still feels like a soul porn, which is what I want to feel. What's changing? Oh, like, look, the times of the next one to activate, I think. Turn now. Tempest flame. Ah! I hear you. Oh, they all activated. Good stuff. Full burst. Come 
Some bosses gain the Bloodthirst effect. It makes Skyburn Dart ineffective and greatly reduces the damage. Okay, so while they have Bloodthirst, we don't want to attack. We want to dodge. I'm guessing Lyria is, like, healing us and stuff. She has, like, powerful magic. I don't know if she's using it right now. I noticed that there were little golden soldiers here. I was only focusing on the boss. <laughs> That's a different attack. I wonder if it depends on what order they were in or something like that. Hold down the button to heal. And it doesn't seem to have interfere with your doing anything, it's not like an Estus Blast. Where, like, you have to animate yourself for anything and that interrupt whatever else you're doing. Oh, okay, and, and you can see it heals, like, the area on it. Okay. Okay, that wasn't hard, but, like, it wasn't trivial, and it felt fun. And, like, dodging the attacks and, like, shuffling around so that you position yourself and stuff, that feels, that feels good. Uh, I'm guessing that's probably the end of the story segment, except for, like, a little bit more story. But... Lyria, did you notice the wind throughout the battle? Yes, I'm sure of it. It has to be Tempkill's primal beast. 
Okay. Bingo. I don't guess know this what is that where means. the real battle starts. I know what a primal base is, but I don't know what... Is that where we are? Maybe? Okay. Um, what's the end of that section? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Can I try the other mode now? No, I may as well have a look at this, I guess. There's Vita. The Astral Realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal. Okay, I saw Fairy. I like Fairy. utilize the power of the Four Primals that, huh? and attempt to cast open the gates once more. You can tell primal beasts were weapons created by astrals. Their powers are capable of untold destruction. Primal beast? Is that what you call primeval gods? I sense something, but I can't put a finger on what. That doesn't look right from up here. Oh, no. Feels like overkill for a glorified treasure. Something's blocking me. I can't get through. Oh, primeval god, I beg your forgiveness. But fate is set in motion can't be <laughs> stopped. Maya. Deliver us from um, guy. grief and sacrifice. I only really know the characters who have been rising. <laughs> the Hobbit! We've been through a lot together. Visited new islands, met new people. But you've always been there to protect me. Wait, is Livia going to be playable? Did she just like Thank summon a war beast or something? I would slap. That looks really cool. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go into. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not buying it on on the PS4 right now. Thank you. Uh, what I'm actually gonna do is go back to the main menu and try the other mode. This mode off. So I believe this just helps me try a specific quest. It might let me pick a character to play as. Uh, oh, online play. Okay. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I can't. I think I can change my party members. We'll see. We'll see what it lets me do. Quest mode. Request you. Place up your party. So go into the menu and set up my party here. Change your party members. Oh, hello, look at all this. So I can play as Charlotta. Uh, Ganda Goza, I don't know this. this I, I haven't... That's, that's not playable in the game, I know. Namaya, Lancelot, Siegfried, I know all of them. Kudaha, don't know you. And there's Zeta. Um, I'm gonna switch to Zeta. I do wish Cagliar Astro were an option. Or Zui, but neither of them are here. Catalina's cool. Um, pop out Rackham for someone. Maya. Uh, yeah, I'll see what Charlotte does, just so we can get a bit of a, a distribution. Spear of Harvest, that's the weapon you should be using, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I can swap it out for a worse spear, so I don't, I won't do that. Vigils, okay, they're like equipment. Uh, they're like, um, accessory sort of things. Um, oh. Okay. Fuck myself up. I assume you have the right weapon already. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have, like, a worse weapon for everyone, but I probably want to keep using the one they're using. Oh, there's more stuff down here. This is quite a long list, actually. I don't know what stats are good for everyone, so I'm just kidding. So. <laughs> uh, I wonder if the weapon becomes visible. Oh, get a change weapon skin? Yeah. Okay, so the weapons are going to look different in-game too. Good. Okay. Give it a shot. 
Better works for society, a group that hunts primal beasts. You're done with a seal weapon named Arvest, which counters in speedy aerial attacks. You'll high jump off of a craft using a square combo or a certain skill. Press square while airborne to dive bomb the throw. Oh, and that lets her loop. Okay. Uh, and I can and her unique action with triangle is oh okay so it's it's like um I think that's her two one four in verses she does this in verses but I don't play her that much so I don't remember which buttons are which <laughs> um yeah it's like she she sets up to do a counter uh at the right time and then she can do a high jump from there or follow up yeah cool check okay, out was that a no let's go um okay the only button that's doing anything right now is jump. I can't actually attack right now. I suppose that makes sense, given there's nothing to attack, but... Yeah. Let's have a look around. Animation looks quite nice. Ooh, oh, I see. The moon is beautiful tonight. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, sweetie. Hello. I'm romanceable. <laughs> look, look, look. I'm really pretty. Check out my, check out my, my sweet hair that goes everywhere when I move. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's a shame I can't play as any of my, my, um, versus mains in the demo, but... I I can try some fun stuff. I do want to try out a few different characters here to get a gist of how that how things work. Uh, Undertake quest. Um, yeah, I'll, let's go to the Sun Dappled Grove. Okay, so you get a time limit, and uh, there's a couple of conditions where I have to do certain things. Okay. Good luck out there. Okay, so now it's been added to, like, my HUD there, so I can just set myself up and go square. Uh, go ready. Okay, and you can see the other ones are set to CPU. My guess is they can only be online people, because of the way the camera works in this game. I probably can't play with local co-op. Which is a shame. Uh, because that would be cool. Uh, but yeah, it does have multiplayer. Which makes sense, because you're playing as, like, a team of several characters. Uh, hold circle for reviving. Cool. Okay. Here goes. Zeta sounds like Zeta. Well, and you're not even fighting. <laughs> you're just sort of hanging out here with us. I can't switch characters during, uh, so I can't try everyone else just in the same one, which is a little frustrating. Charlotta's animations look like Charlotta. I don't know if she plays like Charlotta because uh, I'm not playing as her, but I assume she does. Oh, and these are the same skill names. Okay, so those names are like a standard Grand Blue thing, not just a versus. Stuff like... Okay, okay, cool. I, I figured they probably were, but it's nice to check. Okay, this is not super fun. I'm hoping there's like a boss fight or something, because just fighting regular enemies is not super exciting. Okay. 
Ach, mal, aber kann sie jetzt auch I'm not sure what the timing is for training these attacks together, otherwise I'd be doing it a lot more. Okay. So that didn't feel as fun. Um, it felt a lot more mashy than the than the previous thing. I'll switch up which characters I'm playing as to get a gist of how everyone plays. Since there are three quests, I can try like just a couple. Hey, Namaya, you're in the background there. Oh, well done, Charlotte. I don't think I can get any of these rewards into the game if I'm playing it on Steam, so I hope they're not very good. <laughs> uh, direct quest counter. Come to view the request. Here it is. Um, let's try the next one. It, oh, this one has a boss. Oh, I see. Horde is what I just did, which is why there wasn't a boss fight. Just a bunch of little enemies. This one has a boss. Uh, so I'm probably gonna enjoy it more. Because <laughs> I did like that boss fight in the other section. Uh, let me swap out our party a little bit here. Uh, I'm gonna try playing as Move Catalina, uh, which, yeah, we'll move Zeta into that slot. Uh, and I don't need to switch the equipment because I already equipped everyone properly. Well, now I have the Earth Day Empire. Catalina fights Crypt Lyria. A magic sword in a depth warrior who doubts between situation. Yeah, yeah, she's the Kai Keith of this game. <laughs> Catalina creates various combos by using the buttons. Okay, sweeping slashes on triangle. Pulling off combos fills the errors get. I think I just will someone will be to bolster. Okay, so I can summon friend with a full gauge. How do I summon? Did it still make me happen when my gauge when my bar is full? Summons arrows when gauge is full. Okay, so it's anything with the up arrow, which basically means do a combo uh, that has the triangle button in it. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm Catalina, and she looks like Catalina. Uh, I'm curious how Beaver is written in this game. Uh, because I haven't seen her in this game, and I assume she's in the game. Um, I don't really love the way she's written in verses. Um, she, she's, um, she's extremely in love with Catalina, and in the earlier parts of the main story, and in verses, it's written as, like, a Yandere kind of thing. Um, but in, like, later in the story, apparently it develops into something much healthier, and it's really uh, but it's not there in Versus, which is one reason I was a little reluctant to get the game. Um, I do have it now, but yeah. Um, I'm curious what stage of, like, the growth and healing we're at in this version. Uh, oh, qu 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 I like it. <laughs> do or die. That's the boss. I'll protect you from anything. I see that bar next to me is my arrow gauge. Like the sword on it. Like elegance given form. You flatter me. Ow. Dodge, they roll around, that seems like a good thing. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, and telegraphing like a beam attack or something? Oh, it's still a child. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Are you vulnerable? I assume. What beautiful sword play. Yours was utterly ethereal. Maya's gonna play in this game. You know, um, versus she's a stand space character, so. I'm not sure if that's a thing in this game. seems to be a little, uh, weak, I guess. It doesn't lock very closely, if that makes sense. Might be a setting. Hmm, I don't see a way to change that. But yeah, like, the, the, when the boss is moving around a lot, the camera doesn't really follow them without my help, as far as I can tell. Which is Fantastic! Fantastic! Hmm. I do like the boss fights. I don't like them as much as like full blown Soulsborne ones, but I am enjoying them quite a lot. Well done. Be proud of yourself. Let's try not my next. <laughs> Apparently Catalina is brilliant. Charlotte is just the best. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's one more quest to try, but I want to try all of these characters. I will do probably one of them twice. Is this the drills? Yeah. A blade master who combined her family's martial arts with magic and her unique blade technique. Okay, so she does use stances. The triangle button swaps between uh, Free Flutter and Dawnfly, I think. I think those are the same name as for her two stances in them rising, but I could be misremembered. Again, she's not my main. <laughs> but yeah, she has like. In, in um, rising, she has like a, a stance that's sort of ranged and another one that's sort of more rushed down. Um, she has, like, the, the thing Johnny does, I've forgotten the name. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that's, 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 like, a ranged attack. God. I, I, 
my, my brain's just not working. Um, but yeah, the thing Johnny goes for it's that thing, you know the one. Uh, she gains a butterfly when she lands. Okay, so okay, so her butterflies buff up her next skill. Okay, and because you use skills only only when you like hold the button. Okay, cool. Uh, and yeah, that looks like Amaya as well. I feel like the hair physics are maybe a little excessive. <laughs> Look at that hair. <laughs> it's just going. <laughs> Uh, but eh, it looks nice. Although she's like a ram or something, she's got horns. There, there are a lot of animal people in this series. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try. This one is more difficult, apparently. You can say that these ones are easy and this one is normal. So Would you take this one? I guess we see how we go. Good luck out there. Um. Miss Finer. The thing Johnny does is called Miss Finer. Now Maya has that in 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 verses. <laughs> I was thinking of Greed Sapper, but that's the thing that Kai does. It's a different move. Uh, it's just you know, it's two words, and one of them ends with uh. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, we'll give this a try. Uh. Yeah, I figured powerful attacks would be unblockable on next time. Okay. Um, but now, Maya, you switch between stances with her unique button. I'm guessing that, like, a unique action button is just a Grand Blue thing, because it's in this game and it's in uh, Versus. And it's just called the unique button in Versus. Right? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like one stance gives me like really fast attacks, and the other one's like slower but better range kind of thing. No mercy, you cannot escape fate. Well done. Feel good. Okay, I got invulnerability because I dodged that at the right time, I think. I didn't take any damage from that, and I was definitely in the area of effect. And it popped up an invincibility message just about that time. Stay at the ready. You got it. on the Without Ow. Yeah, that time I didn't dodge it. I won't lose this. I'm enjoying the Namaya's, I guess, agility. It feels good. A lot of characters have a dodge button that works the same way, but she feels a bit more agile. The lock-on system feels a bit weird, I'm not sure I'm vibing with it. Uh, because, um, I'm going to use the stick to try to, like, rearrange the camera, but that is also how you switch lock-ons. Which is not what I'm trying to do, you know? Oh, fuck. Oh, I, I am in pain here. Oh, no. Uh, that's not good. Butterfly attack, moonrise, boot, boot. Butterfly attack, moon. The fact that so much stuff is similar in this game compared to uh, Versus, which was actually made by Arxis and not by Psygame, uh, is really like giving me an extra appreciation for how Versus is designed because it's clearly like following the design rules of Grand Blue really closely. Uh, if that makes sense. The basis of power. Ow! Oh. Uh, critical. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Master. 
Oh, I can fill the bar or something? Okay. Okay, I'm all, I'm all good. I'm all good. This is definitely a harder fight, which is good. Um, kind of what I was looking for. <laughs> Oh my god. Help me. Okay, not that good, obviously, <laughs> given that I've only played this game for about an hour. <laughs> but you can see it's not trivial, I am having trouble, uh, which is nice. Uh, I'm glad it's not super easy. And there are assist modes I could turn on if I wanted to be easy. So, that's also nice. But I don't want that. really fun. Um, obviously hard, I got, I got my butt kicked, but that was fun. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I do want to try Charlotta, so we'll do it one more time. I am strong. There you are, babe. Why does Charlotta always be MVP? What's going on with that? <laughs> like, I've played three separate of these separate quests now, and Charlotta's always done the most. Is she just super powerful? If I switch to her, is she gonna suck? <laughs> um, we'll find out in a get the second, I guess. Okay, so all the quest rewards are gotten. Not that it really matters, but you know, switch one more time. Okay. As big as the oversized weapon in her hand, as the captain of the Lumiel Order of Holy Knights, she's will never prevails. Flurry of slashes, and only for powerful attack. Oh, well, okay, so she's just like does a lot of attacking. <laughs> um, in, in the in the um fighting game, she's a rushdown sort of character with a lot of charge input. Uh, she's kind of like May basically. Um, she plays very similarly. Um, and she's really annoying to fight, <laughs> much like May. <laughs> Okay, um, let's just do that one again, because that was really fun, even if I sucked at it. Uh, yeah. And we'll see how, how we do it as Charlotta. Uh, and then I'm probably about done, I reckon. Because that's pretty much everything in the demo. Um, I am liking this combat. I'm not... It's not quite as precise as I was maybe hoping. Um, like, I, like, you know, when you press, say... Uh, the light attack button in Versus, you always get the same punch, the same animation or whatever. Uh, here, you press that same button, uh, and it can be a whole bunch of different things depending on circumstance. Granted, like, triple attacks and stuff like that are also relevant, but, like, it is it is less predictable exactly what your character's going to do in this game compared to a Soulsborne or, or like a fighting game. Because yeah, false ones do that too. You press the button and the same basic thing always happens. Okay, so if I, if I mash my button a little bit, I get like a flurry, flurry of blows kind of thing. Which is nice. Oh, I like that. That's cool. I think I can like buff myself with my skill. I didn't actually attack, it sort of gave me like a status bonus or something. Shining Onslaught looks similar to my um, charged 4 6. I don't know how to pronounce that out loud when you hold the charge input <laughs> in numpad notation. Like, if you put the 4 in brackets, uh, and that indicates you're supposed to hold it down, but I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Yeah, I think my skills are mostly like self buffs and stuff to make my subsequent attacks better. Although shining on the shining on sword, yeah, shining on sword is still a top to get key basically. Does it say top to get when playing like a 3D game like this? I don't know. <laughs> uh. Also, yes, like all attacks like that are top to get even though like. May is only one character who does it, and it was introduced in Street Fighter. I'm just really, really cool like that. <laughs> okay. So, That's pretty good. Okay, I'm liking the way you play. Nectar are the sharpest thorns. Um, thanks. Oh, maybe. Oh, I got like staggered for a second there. Is the sand team effect just like staggering me? I think the boss does. Is it back? Get the chain. Noble fusion. 
think that's what my SBI is called in the versus game as well. Once again, I don't play this character that much. I play mostly Cagliostro and Zoe. Uh, neither of whom I can play in this demo. <laughs> I assume Zoe's playable? I haven't seen a trailer for her. But she's, she's really good. I really like her. I am also curious whether, like, character colours are a thing like they are in Versus. I know it's going to be less relevant because it's a different kind of game that isn't going to have as many, like, mirror maps as well. Uh, so. Yeah, I've got two um, skills that like attack, and I've got two that seem to be soft. Me. should have been running. I assume if I stay in critical for too long that's how I fail. Like if the the red bar there empties. I think it, the particular result you get depends on the order that you activated the FBA's in. I assume it doesn't make a big difference to like how much damage you do, but you get different animations, so that's nice. As soon as the, the game introduced a dodge button that looked like this, it's just like, there you go, it's a, it's, it's a game you'll enjoy now. <laughs> uh. um, look onto this guy, please. I am having trouble with the lock on because the camera doesn't stick with the enemy the way it does in uh, Dark Souls, but it still uses the, the right stick to control who you're locked onto. It's also like Dark Souls, but... Yep, link time, let's go. Look for its tail and dodge accordingly. Oh, the smashing the ground thing stuns me for a second. Okay. I'll need to cut off so I can avoid that. Okay, there we go. Oh no, Catalina, where are you? You can't give in. Thanks. I'm ready. Hey! 
Draw button would interrupt more stuff, like, like cancelling an attack or whatever you have active. Um, I understand why it, it doesn't, but it, it would be nice. <laughs> sit here for a really long time just playing every single character on camera. Uh, so... What are we gonna call it there? Um... I like this game. <laughs> uh, I was a little unsure going in because, like, some of the footage I'd seen, I thought it was kind of like Dynasty Warriors. Um, I haven't literally played Dynasty Warriors, but I've played Hyrule Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors, and it's not really something I enjoy all that much. That is the MVP that time. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, I, I did even worse, but yeah, that's fine, I had fun. Okay, um, but yeah, um, I'm enjoying this a lot. <laughs> the boss fights are really fun. Um, you can tell I'm not super good at the game yet because I'm just basically trying things out and just, just getting a sense of how it plays, and I assume if I main a character, I would get stronger with them and using their combos better and stuff, which is exactly the way I want to feel about, you know, a game like this. Uh, I can't visit the attack shack, I can't check what that is. Um... But, yeah, I don't know if this game has crossplay. Uh, when you're going online, that might be... Anything about it here. Uh, I didn't see anything. I don't remember, but I think there might... There might be crossplay, um, but it's you know it's it's not like a head-to-head -head fighting game. It's like a cooperative sort of thing, so crossplay isn't as important, I'd say. Um, it would be nice to have, obviously. Um, oh, you're cute. Hello. Minis. I'm got the grind cipher over here. Um, I would like to know if there is, like, an open world element to it, or if the story is in little chunks, like the chunk I just played. Um, which I can't really get a sense of from this demo. I might ask around a bit and see if I can find out. Um, and I would like to play as Kag and Zoe and see how they play, but enough of these characters feel really good that I think I'd be fine. <laughs> um, I would be a bit disappointed if I mains play like shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I like this. Um, it feels it feels fun, and the characters, you know, I love the characters, obviously. Um, and it has a dodge roll. <laughs> uh, but like, if it didn't have that button, like the combat would probably not click with me quite so much <laughs> because it's there. It's like. Oh yeah, I, I know about dodge rolls. <laughs> oh, it's very funny. Um, and yeah, I think I have more of an appreciation for 
I guess, how Grand Blue the Versus games are. Uh, now that I've seen this one that is not made like as an Arxis fighting game, uh, and still has so many similarities in terms of like the things your characters do and like the mechanics and uh, like it's it's a different kind of game. Uh, it's not it's not a fighting game, but you've still got like a stance based uh, samurai character for Namaya, and you've still got um, like a skybound art that looks and behaves more or less the same as you'd expect from what I've seen in the fighting games. And uh, I, like a lot of the stuff we're doing here is stuff that matches up with what I'd expect from the fighting games, if that makes sense. Uh, which, yeah, presumably means those are just Grand Blue things. Like, everyone does have a Skybound art, and everyone has, you know, four little skills that I have on cooldown that work essentially like specials would do in a fighting game. Um, and everyone has a unique action, which is on one of the buttons, and that's their unique action button. Because, <laughs> yeah, all, all of those things are in the fighting game, and they're also in this game, which was made, I'm pretty sure, just by side games, which means... That they're just normal grand blue things and they are not uh versus them which is cool um i do wish i could play a jita um see because i assume she plays like grand but differently uh because that's pretty much how she works in the fighting games <laughs> uh i'd also like to play as kag because he's my main and i love her and she's amazing and and she's a gigantic bitch <laughs> It's really funny how, like, nasty so fun. <laughs> like, like, she's basically this huge, this huge egotistical asshole in a really lovable way. And it's very impressive. <laughs> uh, and then there's Zoe, who's just, like, this really sweet, quiet, autistic sweetheart. Uh, and she's really fun to play as well in Versus, so I hope she's good in this game. Um, I'm gonna guess she's playable because there's still a lot of characters in this game and as far as I can tell she's quite popular and is a fairly important character to lore and stuff. I don't know the lore nearly as well as with Guilty Gear, but yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm... Everything in this demo I really enjoyed. Um, I don't think I need it to be like an open world RPG where you can go all sorts of places in a big horrible area. If it is, like, a little level-based section, like, episodes thing, um, kind of like something like Bayonetta, uh, would be okay with that, because the actual combat plays really nicely and I'm having a good time with it. <laughs> um, it would be nice to have exploration, big old world to, to run around in, uh, with my, my oomphies registered, uh, are rendered in lovingly done anime 3D style, rather than lovingly done anime also 3D technically, but it looks like it's it's drawn... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how, how to describe the art style that's used for like Exard and Strive and uh, versus Rising. Um, like, like it's using 3D models, but it's using them in a particular way and with particular shaders that make it look like you were playing like a 2D drawn anime essentially. It's really good. Um but like yeah here this is obviously a 3D model of Charlotte running around rather than like the essentially 2D drawn looking Charlotte that you play as if you play as Charlotte in versus. <laughs> um I might just bring this list up again so I can see if I spot anyone else I recognize. Uh Gran obviously Rackham is in the story mode, but not playable in in um, versus. Uh, I assume he's all right. Uh, Io, same deal. She's in the story mode, just not playable. Uh, this guy is brand new to me. Uh, this guy's a playable character in the story. Playable character and he's in the story. Uh, this guy's a playable character as well. Uh, this guy's completely new. I'm gonna switch to a couple of these people I haven't seen yet and just see what the game tells me about them. I was a young mage who aspires to be an elegant lady. He was able to cast long range spells and heal the pie of recovery magic. Uh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Orb she has. How does she get more orbs? Oh, okay. When she uses her charged up attack there, she gets orbs and then. Okay, that makes sense. Uh. He looks nice. I do think the hair physics are a little excessive. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's not like. 
but making the game terrible or anything. It's just a little silly. Uh, let's switch to this guy and see what the game tells me about him. Dandigo is a founder of the Eternal Rage Star, losing a complex anything than the might of his fist. Any foe within his reach will pulverize into dust. Press square appeal to combos, but know that well timed attacks are stronger than button mashing. Then he combo raises his Eternal Rage. Oh, and his charged attack increases based on how much rage he has. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, we'll check his command list. Launch. Oh, right after jumping. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's try something else. Uh, I don't know who this is, so let's check check what it says. Once a renowned sword to many dis uh, disciples, he handles two swords that will be blinding speed, making him adept at high speed combos and counters. Uh, fearsome things, but the pain will get shorter, meaning more chance of finishes. Oh, okay. Okay, so you you so you you get to use more triangle finishes the more combos you chain up. Okay. Triple shroud marks. Okay, so. That's the same sort of thing that uh, Namaya does, but it does, looks like this guy doesn't have the stances. Okay. Oh, I see. I see how it works. You have to press square like five times to do the first combo, and then I'm guessing the next one is four times. Uh, so you actually do have to uh, like use a long combo first in order to, to get to his shorter combos. Interesting. Okay. Um. Uh, who have I not tried selecting? Rack him. I'll reflect everyone so I can read this stuff. Uh, oh, Rack has guns. Oh, yeah, I did see him using them in the story. Uh. Yeah, that's fun. Now he's got a heat get up. Okay, so you just hold the button to shoot. You hold the other button for the shooting better. <laughs> Oh, okay. So you can, you can chain it by long pressing square with the right timing. You will do more damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, and yeah, he's like he's sort of got a a super of sorts. Okay, which he can charge up by pulling his heat gauge. Okay. So it looks like characters have a lot of these like unique mechanics, uh, which is good. Uh, it's nice that they don't just sort of play the same. Uh, Lancelot. Cool blades. Yeah, he uses ice attacks. Oh, he has an infinite, not infinitely long, uh, square combos. He just keeps attacking. Kind of like Charlotta, actually. I, when I was mashing the button, she would go into like a flurry sort of thing. Oh, I, I can dodge and attack. Okay, so he's got like a. Okay, okay, that's cool. Um, I don't pick just just Siegfried now, I think. Yes. Let's move out. Blood of a dragon flows through the veins of this powerful man. His great sword, yeah. Okay. So he's just he just swings his big sword around. That's more or less it. <laughs> Okay, so I, I think of the characters I tried here, I probably vibe the most with Narmaya. Um, but there's there's plenty of characters to try out in this demo, but look, find someone who fits your playstyle. Uh, I am, yeah, as I mentioned, a little disappointed that I can't play as uh, Kag or Zoe here, or Jita for that matter. Um, but yeah, the characters I've tried all seem pretty fun. Oh, and Amaya was probably a bad choice. Look at the power level. Is like because I'm fighting that boss. The power recommended power was like uh like twelve hundred or something. And you can see Zeta's power is like seventeen. Is that determined by like the things I gave them? Probably. I probably should have fiddled with the equipment more than I did. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to try everything. Oh, hang on. Can you? Can I, can I do this and just play with one character? What happens if I do? Uh, who's the most power? Who's better, right? Ready to go. 
I'm curious if the game will let me do this. I just want to try this real quick. Um, see what happens. I'm wondering if it, like, changes bosses to match up with, like, the strength of your party or something. Yeah, I can undertake quest. Quest accepted. Ready. I think I might be able to do the quest with just me. <laughs> okay. Give this a shot and see what happens. <laughs> Uh, did you do this before? I don't remember. <laughs> like, I assume the game wants you to have a party of four, so you can do things like this. But maybe this is like a self-imposed challenge or something I've, I've just activated? Or maybe the boss scales to the number of opponents. Hello, Rock Golem. Okay, I'm definitely by myself here. Is this just a really hard version because I've got no one helping me? Keep up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got up. One more. Close call. Yeah, it's not doing I'm not doing more damage. I think it's just it's a hard version of the boss. <laughs> wow. It's kind of wild that it lets you just do this. I guess if you want to impose a challenge on yourself, you can do this. Oh, you can keep using it until the bar runs out. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Oh, those little icons there are for my four skills. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm getting the hang of how this works. Fuck my attack. I haven't quite worked out how the chain thing works yet. Uh, I think maybe I need to press the button again as I land. Yeah, that seems to be it. Okay. Yeah, you can you can fight this really hard boss with just one character if you want. Um, it's not gonna go well, but it's cool that I can. You can see how much damage I'm doing. This is not something I'm going to win. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Over here. Come on. Over here, idiot. Hmm, doesn't seem like, doesn't seem like Rhapsody left me counter especially well with those big attacks. Hoping it would. There's no way to chain it because there's nobody in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does it let me do this? It's probably if you want to really like impose a, a serious challenge by not having any friends helping you out, sort of thing. One more. Oh, can you paralysis attack? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's taking a ridiculously long time. <laughs> the timer might run out before I finish. Ow. Or I might just die. Oh fuck. SDA has limited range, I did not realize. Okay. I have no idea why the game is letting me do this. Hey, I didn't take any damage, so I parried. Neat. Yeah, I'm still not sure what the correct timing is to keep looping. It might be exactly as I make contact, but no, it's slow. Ow. Yeah, I'm running out of healing. I'm gonna die soon. Kinda figured. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. You have to time it just right as, like, as the flash comes up, not after. Okay.
and I'm out of potions. I have blue one, I don't know it does. Might not be skill, because skill's gonna be blue. No, no. Oh, it's still healing. Okay, out of potions. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna win this fight. Look at that health bar. Ability to text through an attack or something? Like using the dodge button, I mean. Seems to be what it activates. Oh, yeah, I'm, I am doomed. And I'm gone. I'm gonna die though. It doesn't seem like getting hit while you're in this state actually makes the critical bar drain faster. It's kind of weird. I feel like it probably should. Yeah, I'm definitely not equipped for this fight, but this is really cool that it lets you do this. One more. to level up like a bunch before I can do something like this one character. <laughs> I seem to require a full party of four, but no. Yeah, you can see I'm not gonna win this. <laughs> oh, it's very funny. Okay, get up. I do think if you get, like, obliterated again while you're in critical state, that should probably make the... That the gauge drain a bit faster because it doesn't and that feels weird. <laughs> Yes, I had to be sad, no worries. Oh, fuck. I thought they were jumping. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna quit out, I think. I think that's good. Yeah, that's not, I'm not winning that. I am getting better at playing Zeta, though, I can tell. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like this game. <laughs>
I do I do want to know how my mains play. Um, and I'm a little disappointed that I can't drive my out in this, but I get it, because this is just a tiny demo. Uh, and the stuff in the demo I did enjoy. Um, so if you do have a PlayStation 4 or 5, uh, I believe it's on both, uh, you can give the game a whirl. Um, you can't play it, you can't get a demo on Steam for some reason. Uh, but yeah, this is it. Uh, pretty fun. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get the... Um, because yeah, I, I do enjoy the combat, which is clearly the main draw of the game. And, you know, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to, but I do enjoy it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Demo. <laughs> it's fun. Um, it, 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 it feels like a little less direct. Um, then something like, for example, like Elden Ring, where you press your attack button and the same thing always happens. Um, but you have enough, like, agency over what your character does, and especially with that dodge roll, which feels really good, um, it, it doesn't feel as, like, spectacle fighter button meshy as something that I didn't enjoy, like Bayonetta. It, it does feel like I'm making decisions that will make me win or lose, rather than just like, optimize my score or whatever. Even though this game does still have a score system. Um, yeah, like, in, in Bayo I, I had that problem where it just feels like you're just punching and kicking and stuff, and the enemies don't seem... I mean, I still hear bosses don't really get hit stunned either, but it it feels it feels like a good fit. And like when I'm dodging their attacks and stuff, it feels like I'm making that decision actively like that. I don't know. It's a little hard to to quantify exactly, especially because Bayo actually does have a dodge button, um, which works similarly to the one in this game. Um, but this is feeling, I guess, more hands on to me um, compared to that game, which. Which I didn't enjoy <laughs> all that much. <laughs> I, I I can't really quantify why, but it's just the, the the feel of the combat here is better, even though it is essentially the same basic concept of having like an attack button and then a button that you press at the end of a combo or whatever to finish it off, um, and a bunch of different possibilities because in Bayo it's different weapons here it's completely different people, but. Yeah, it's it's feeling it's feeling better, and I know that this game is advertised as an RPG to a certain extent, so that may mean there's an overworld. Uh, it does definitely mean there's leveling and stats and stuff, uh, because I've seen them, um, and I like having more RPG elements in this this kind of game, um, so that's nice. And yeah, like I was talking about last time I was here and not you know in a random fight, I just went into the steeple that let me. Um, I like how Grand Blue <laughs> the game is, if that makes any sense. Um, because, yeah, um, Versus is made by Arxis, which is not like the people who make regular Grand Blue, Fa Grand Blue Fantasy, the mobile game. Uh, but there's so much stuff that's similar between this game and the one that Arxis made, that I can see they had, like, a lot of respect for the source material, if that, if that makes sense. Uh, a, a lot of the stuff in that game is very... Familiar, t familiar to me. A lot of stuff in this game is familiar to me because I played that game. Um, which means, yeah, they didn't just make a fighting game with Grand Blue characters in it. They made a Grand Blue fighting game, um, which I appreciate. I may even play the mobile game. Who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I want to play more of this definitely. Um, which. Yeah, as I said, I wasn't really expecting, <laughs> but it's really fun. <laughs> and yeah, like obviously the salt, the the primary focus here is the combat and and like getting combos and taking down bosses with optimal uh, stuff and getting all the points so you can get the the rewards and all that stuff. But just just the general game feel is really really nice, uh, and I'm. It feels right. It feels good. 
Uh, the one thing I'm not super happy with is the way the camera lock-on works. As I mentioned, fighting that first boss in the story section, uh, I kept trying to like move the camera around, get a better look, uh, which is also how you lock on the different things. Um, it feels a little bit more cinematic, I guess, uh, the way the camera automatically moves while locked on, compared to something like Dark Souls or you know Bloodborne, Elden Ring, that genre. <laughs> the whole the whole Soulsborne genre has this lock on mechanic as well, and it uses the right stick to toggle who you're locked on to, uh, but it locks more like directly onto the enemy. Like it, it, the camera doesn't sort of give you cinematic view of where they are. It shows you. This is where you're locked on to keep looking exactly here. Um, which I think works better. Um, but I think that's something I would get used to. Like, I kept mentioning near the beginning, when I was playing the story mode part, that I was pressing the wrong buttons from muscle memory, but, like, it clicked pretty quickly that I need to press different buttons to do what I'm trying to do in this game, even though it's the same, like, movements. Ah, <laughs> uh, and I imagine, like, Maybe I can't do it on here because this is like the PlayStation version and consoles usually don't let you, but I assume I can remap this stuff uh, in in um, the other version of the game, you know, the one. <laughs> the, the Steam version, I can probably remap the controls to do like, you know, whatever I want. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll make it closer to something like Elden Ring and then I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm just playing Elden Ring. <laughs> Even though it isn't exactly the same. Um. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> um. But yeah. That's um, the demo of Rambler Fantasy Freelink. It's not, like, long. I've been playing for two hours, but, like, that's because I tried a bunch of different characters. You can clear the content that's here. And I didn't, like, skip ahead in the cutscenes or anything. I let them play out. Um, you could clear this within about an hour. Uh, if you... Maybe less. If you were, you know, not taking your time the way I have been, uh, and you'd see everything that there really is to see in the demo, it's not, it's not a big demo. But it does definitely give you a really good sense of how the game feels to play, which I think is the most important thing in a game like this. Uh, it feels good. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I don't know if I'd recommend this if you don't already have an appreciation for the Grand Blue characters. Um, because simply I haven't seen that much of it, I don't know if it does a good job of introducing everyone and getting you, like, a good sense of who they are and all that kind of thing. Um, like, they do have voice acting that sounds good, it's the same, same as Inversive, and, uh, like, they seem to be written correctly. <laughs> they match up with that game, at least. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know if this is your first Grand Blue game will work as well as maybe because this one I just haven't seen much of. Um, on the other hand, if this is this kind of game is your jam, uh, this seems to be a good in, uh, installment into that series, into the series, and um, maybe a good first grand loop for that reason. If you already like this kind of game, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's about it really. Um, I really intended to stop recording at an hour, but then. I found out I could give myself this ridiculous challenge of going in with only one party member. I don't know why the game lets me do that. I mean, I mean, I, I kind of do. I assume it, it's the point is that I get to, like, challenge myself by bringing only my one character and having no one helping me. But it just seems like a bad idea. <laughs> uh, else has a... Oh. Where are we going? Yeah, um... And yeah, I assume, like, leveling up would give me, like, better stats and stuff. It, it, I assume it doesn't give you, like, entirely new skills, because the skill, like, tree is basically full already. I say tree, it's just, like, full little boxes. Um, I, like, I doubt leveling up will give you entirely new moves or anything like that, but... I don't know, um... One of the things in some Bayonetta games, uh, I think... Bayonetta 2 did it, but 3 didn't, uh, is that you only start with some combos unlocked and you have to, like, fill out the rest of the combo tree as you progress. Um, which is weird. Uh, it, does, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense that it would work that way. Um, 
But yeah, this game doesn't seem to be doing that. It's look, it looks like they've basically figured out, here's what your character can do. You get access to all of that. Uh, the command lists are relatively short, but I don't think they really need to be longer. Um, I think the characters do enough the way they already work. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Aves for Matt. Uh, I can inflict that with infinite wonders, but it looks like I can also inflict it uh, by doing the loop combo really well. Which isn't something I'm great at, but yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, um, parry mechanic is fun. Oop, here's Catalina. Uh, yeah, she's a bit more straightforward, I guess. Like, she gets, she gets a buff from errors being summoned, but generally it's just sort of a straightforward attack, attack, attacks kind of thing. Um... Charlotte still seems to be a bit of a rushdown, and then Namaya is like more of a stance-based, complicated character. Yeah, it, it matches up. Um, which, yeah, I, I don't know if this is how they work in Grand Blue Mobile, uh, or if this is like, they looked at verses and took the, that as inspiration for making and this one is brand new. Um, but like if that is how these characters are meant to work in versus as well, not versus in, in the mobile game, Scramble Fantasy Mobile. Uh, if they work in work the same way in that game as well, then like I'm very impressed that all of these games are like keeping the archetypes right. Uh, like even though this is a totally different kind of game, like this character still feels like Zeta, uh, as as I have played her in, in versus. Which is, which is great. Um of course, it helps that she, you know, looks exactly like Zeta and sounds the same, but, like, the the combat actually does feel the same sort of way. Um, which is cool. <laughs> okay, I, I should wrap up. I've gone for, for, like, an hour longer than I meant to. <laughs> but yeah, um, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is, is fun. Um, I do want to know how much of it happens outside of combat. Um, like it does say in here I've got town controls and battle controls, so I'm guessing it's mostly like little hubs like this. Uh, and then you go to like do some, do a quest of some kind and fight some enemies. Uh, that's fine, honestly. Um, I don't need like a massive overworld of exploring between everything. Uh, I dislike it. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, yeah, I don't think this game necessarily needs it, so it's probably fine. Uh, oh yeah, I can do stuff like this too. Uh, how do I do this? I'm guessing I can unlock more stuff to put on. Uh, because I've seen people use different ones, uh, like in Twitter posts and stuff, but I don't know how I would do that. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, maybe there are more skills per character. I can remap the, which skill is on which button here, but there might actually be more than four. M maybe I can I can change that up. Okay, that'd be cool. Um, Xenoblade does something like that. You have a skill mapped. They're called arts, but you have an art map to each of the four, like face buttons, and you can remap which ones they are when you're out of combat. So yeah, maybe it works like that here too, which would be neat. Um, I would add add an extra dimension to the gameplay, which would be neat. And cool. Uh, and gear, we already looked at gear earlier. <laughs> it says the captain here, but in the other section it says Gran. Like, do, do you want to call call the character Gran, or do you want to call him the captain? <laughs> Just keeps swapping back and forth. Uh, and then there's sigils, which are like equipment, sort of. Yeah, I don't know. I assume there's a way to change what's on this screen, because I know there's like one with Cag in it. Cause that's what I've seen, uh, but I don't know how to change it. Maybe you just can't do Uh You may unlock more of these as you progress, and then you can emote in more ways or something. Uh, and I believe uh, you can see other players in these town areas who are just like in the same town as you. Um, it's like a sort of lobby sort of system almost, uh, which is nice. Um, I like lobbies. Uh, I like the lobbies in Grand Blue Versus. Uh, they're pretty fun. <laughs> so yeah, that's neat. And I think that's what this is for. So you can like talk to those players as you go and doing stuff. And like 
grouping up to play a game together or whatever. Um... Oh, I, I didn't even notice I have, like, a compass at the top there. Uh, above, like, above my, um, character there. Indicating, yeah, where this is. I assume that means there's more stuff in the gate. Maybe I can talk to people to get a new quest to put that in the full version. But I don't know why you would need that if the only thing it ever indicates is this person. Maybe the shark. Because those presumably don't move around very much. Alright, yeah, let's just, let's just wrap up now. I've, I've talked way too much. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you a sense of if you want to play Grand Blue Fantasy Reeling. If you don't really know yet, get this demo, if you can. Uh, you need a PlayStation 4 or 5, I'm pretty sure, um, to do it, because for some reason it's not available on Steam. But yeah, um, play this demo if you have the ability to, and this looks like something you might enjoy, but you're not sure. Give it a shot. Um, I enjoyed it. And I'm probably going to pick up the game, but I know that I like it. <laughs> um, and yeah, if it doesn't really look like your thing, then now you know. <laughs> um, but yeah. But like, like I was saying, like, I think a lot of it is about the feel, and it feels it feels good to me, uh, which is really good. <laughs> anyway, watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Hehehehe <laughs>